Got one. Yep. This is a real nice fish. That's a huge fish. That's a huge fish. Okay, ready? Yep. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode. Usually once a year, I try to do a pike episode up here in the Adirondacks, New York. I'm with Captain Aaron from Aaron's Guide Service. Great pike guide and bass guide and walleye guide up here in the north. So definitely hit him up if you want a good guide trip. We're fishing for pike today. Fishing in some bays to start out with small glide baits and twitch baits. Seeing if we can get some big pike. Stay tuned. Oh, I thought they were pike or something. Yeah. Oh, huge pike. Wow. Ooh, ooh. Got one. Got yep. This is a real nice fish. That's a huge fish. That's a huge fish. Okay, you ready? Yep. Wow! Wow! Samuel! Oh my. That's a megalodon. <laughs> That's a massive fish. The biggest pike as you'll ever catch. I believe this is probably going to be my PB. This is why you go hit up Aaron's Guide Service. He'll get you on some huge pike. Call it the Tackle Industries Extra Extra Heavy Pike and Muskie Rod. I'm going to get a bump on him. What is it? 40. Just over. It's, for, mm. it's about 40 and 3 quarters. <clears throat> the best part is letting them swim away. And that's a big release right there. Alright. That was my PB which was originally 37. Wow. wow. Thank you, <laughs> Captain Aaron. You got it. Congratulations. <laughs> wow, well, congratulations, Sam. That's exciting. Thank you. Dude, as soon as that hit, I was like, that's a mega fish. <laughs> Sam's a <in> disbelief. <laughs> that's actually, I've caught five muskies this year, and that's the biggest fish I've caught this year yet. <laughs> so that fish was caught on the bazooka glide bait. Obviously this is not just good for musky, it's also good for really giant pike. I liked using this today because it was a very small five, six inch glide bait and uh, it had some nice flash on the side of it. And it's a partly sunny day, so it really reflected in the water nicely. And uh, it hooked the fish great too, so definitely get yourself one of these bazooka baits. Lake. Yeah, 37. Like, I think I'm going to catch a muskie, right? No. And then the pike hit? Uh, that was a 36 and a half. I thought that was 30. The 37 was boat side. It was a really cool strike. Um, <laughs> Holy cow, look at the size of that fish. Really? That is huge. There's another 40 class. Another 40 class. <laughs> it was only a few minutes later that another big fish was playing a game of cat and mouse with our baits. Every time it approached our baits, it would get intimidated by Aaron's awesome boat, only to return a few moments later. He's gonna eat, dude. Yeah, he's hot. He is super he's hot. He's very spooky. You have to be really quiet and still around him. Dude, I think... is he stalking my bait? Or did he come up he's... to swipe a third time? Here he is again, here he is, here he is. Oh, there he goes again. Oh, man. You got a spot log, I guess. I'm not turning on the motor. There he is! Oh, you got him? Got him. Going on this way? Yeah. Oh, no. Damn. Oh, your net is... Oh, there it is. Your net has problems. No, it doesn't. <laughs> They're just rolling, dude. <laughs> this is, they call that the spring roll. Dude, that was epic. The spring roll. <laughs> <laughs> Spring roll. I don't think he's 37. No, he's not. He's 35. Maybe 36. So Captain Aaron here has just hooked up with a beautiful pike that kept following and spooking himself. 
and that's it. He's going to put it down for a measurement first. Oh wow, 34. 34, okay. Awesome. And there it is. Chunky, you know. Just a, just a gorgeous fish. All right. And we'll give her, give her a good release. And there's some bait down there. Look at the size of the body compared to the head. Beautiful, beautiful release. And a beautiful catch for Aaron's, Captain Aaron from Aaron's Guide Service. All right, back to, the, back to the bait that's produced. He's back from taking a break. It's dry enough. Back from the operation. Back from, yeah. The doctor has not fully cleared him yet, but he's coming back anyway for the playoffs. All right, we are at spot number two now. Spot number one was memorable. How much you want to bet that was just a window yeah. and we won't see a fish the rest of the day? Could be. Could be. That's the way it is in salt. That's, That's the way it works in fishing. Usually the days that start out the best, you know, they, uh, they end up dwindling off. Well, believe it or not, that prediction almost came true, as we didn't even see a fish for the next several hours. What saved our day from being anticlimactic was the decision to return to the same spot we started at. So we ended up going back into this bay because that was where we caught fish in the first half of the day, and we didn't see any other fish in any other spot, so this bay is great because it's super warm water, there's lots of bait fish in it, and um, that's the only spot we've seen any sort of population of fish. So uh, I think that's what makes this spot so good, and that's why we caught uh, multiple fish in here, so. I can see that 34 hitting again. He stormed out of my head. Heck, the 40 could hit again. He zoomed right out of my hands. <laughs> he probably left more aggressively than yours did. Yeah, I don't know about that. I think he did. Oh! You got one? Yep! Oh, <sighs> That's a big fish. Yeah. I don't think it's as big as the other one, but I'm going to come around to the left because of the camera pull. Or to the right. Oh, oh, no, Gabe. Gabe. I'm sorry, you don't. <sighs> It in. Oh, shoot. oh man, Samuel, look 38. at that right there. Yeah, he's in more upper 30s. Yeah. Not as big as the other one. Wow. What a fish. Nice. Another beautiful fish. Wow. This is a good one. 38. Same bait. It was on the bazooka glider. Just such an incredible bait. You gotta grab one in the link in the description below. Man, get a measurement on him and let him go. Almost 38. Almost 38. Let's see. Yeah, oh yeah, 38. Yep. I hit it. Called it. Totally different fish. I don't think we saw this one before. Swims safely. All right, folks. Well, that is a wrap. We have gone to our last spot. It is late in the day now. So I wanted to thank you guys, as always, for tuning in. If you uh, want some good low-budget uh, pike equipment, uh, you can always get this Piscifun reel, uh, this Tackle Industries rod. And if you're a muskie and pike guy and you want to get a nice glide bait that'll catch some fish, Bazooka Glide Baits is the way to go. You can get discounts for all three of these products in the link in the descriptions below. Thanks again for tuning in. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. See you later.